Hey everyone out there, it's Anthony here. Welcome to my live stream. I want to talk a little bit about a couple of perceptions in society right now. Um, probably not just right now, they probably go uh, back a, a very long way. And there's this very common perception that the world is um, constantly putting us, um, putting our attention on consuming things in a, a superficial way and only being interested in making money and that uh, all the shows are about relationships and sex and you know the thing is the on one level that perception is totally true but the, there's a far more common perception there's a far more prevalent view that society is pushing on you, which is the polar view, which is that, oh, you shouldn't care about money, you shouldn't care about superficial things and material possessions, and, you know, you shouldn't be, care about uh, being on a relationship, being in a relationship, you should be just fine on your own, and if you, if you don't put any, in any effort, if you just forget about creating a relationship for you, then, you know, someone will magically come along uh, when you least expect it, because, you know, the most important, because, you know, things that aren't important in life, yeah, we really have to work for those things. But, you know, the most important um, thing, which is, you know, finding the right uh, person to spend your life with or people, you know, you don't have to do any work at all. That's just that's just going to magically happen for you. Now, society po pushes both of these polar opposite views on us at the same time. And that creates a polarization inside each of us where you want these things, but also you're not really sure that you that you want them. You, you, you think that you shouldn't want them. And this idea that uh, wanting money or and wanting sex uh, is like somehow shallow and you shouldn't care about those things, um, it's damaging. And the reason why it's damaging is because you're a organism. You are an animal, right? And you have two basic, most basic goals in life, biologically. What are they? To survive and to reproduce. Your biology is set up to feed you the desire for security, which it, it, it manifests itself in money, and um, you know, to, to reproduce, you're, you're hooked up for that. You're going to want to fuck, right? That's just, that's just how your biology is. So the thing is, if you accept that you have these desires, then you can find a, uh, a suitable, healthy expression of those desires. But if you're at war with yourself and you think that you shouldn't want these things, I wouldn't, shouldn't, oh, I shouldn't want... Uh, more possessions, I wouldn't, shouldn't want a more comfortable life, I should just be happy the way I am, then you're going to be at war with yourself because you do want those things whether you want to, whether you want to want them or not. So you just need to accept the desires that you have and try and um, stream them, try and point them into a constructive way so that when you pursue these desires, you're doing it in a way that is of itself fulfilling. You're not trying to just get the desire um, met so that you can forget all about it. And then, because you know what happens, you're going to want something more. You're going to want something more. Instead, you turn the pursuit of, of these desires into an end in themselves, into something that you can enjoy doing so that it's not a big, a big pressure on you. You know, you, you just, you just um, enjoy it and... Um, you then will not get stuck. You won't become addicted to these things. You won't become repressed about these things. They'll just become like a normal part of life. So the thing is, you know, you probably noticed this before, you know, sex is not really a very big deal when you're getting it. <laughs> and uh, neither is money, you know, when you've got sufficient, uh, you've got sufficient amount of money. Now, let me just see if I've got any notes here that I, I want to add. By the way, if you find this valuable, please pump that share button, share it up on your wall so that other people can benefit from it. You shouldn't see meeting your most basic 
desires and needs as a chore these are the the you know the uh, it's like I'm not saying that there aren't higher or more enjoyable or um, nurturing or higher pleasures. Of course there are, you know, self-discovery, creativity, meaningful work, fulfilling relationships, collaborating with other people, saving the world, right? All of that stuff is great. But here's the question, right? If you, you do not build the roof of the house before you lay a foundation, for the house, right? You need to build the foundation first. And if you cannot find uh, the most basic things, which is security and reproduction, right? Those are your two most basic biological drives. Everything else is built on top of that. How effective are you going to be? If you can't do the basics, how effective are you going to be in, um, you know, Anything and saving the world, for example, right? There's so many political activists there who go on protests and they want the government to do this or the government to do that. They're trying to tell people how to run the economy when they can't even keep their own rooms tidy. They should start with themselves. They should figure their own life out. They should get happy. They should get a job that they find fulfilling, that pays them well, and then they should use their expertise to change the world. But all of this faux, this political activism that goes nowhere, it's just a protest, or why doesn't the government do this? Why doesn't the government give us that? Why doesn't the government give free this, free that? This all comes from impotence. This comes from the feeling that one is unable to control and create value in your own life, that you're unable to meet your own needs for security and for um, sexual fulfillment and, and other things like that. Um, then, then, then you want the government, you want someone else to do it for you. That's not the way to go. People need to become empowered in their own life. And when they do that, they can change the whole entire world because they're so fulfilled and they're so expert in their own life, they can become a manager, they can create organizations with each other, they can do social work, they can help the poor, they can train the poor, they can go into deprived areas and use their skills. And you can't do that if you're not competent. You just can't do it. That's why you need to go moaning and crying to the government. And the only thing that this serves is the ruling classes, the people in power. So, I mean, that's a sexually frustrated people end up joining the army and going abroad to kill people. I mean, it might seem like a bit of a sim simplified view, but, you know, the bombs are shaped kind of like decks. So, here's the thing. Survival and reproduction. These are the two most basic human drives. There are other ones that are more important, but a house is built from the bottom all the way up. So, you know, from that survival, from just being able to make enough money to take care of yourself, you can find fulfilling work. And then one step above that is fulfilling work in collaboration with others, creating things. So these drives are the, the, the ground for building up the way to, to higher and more fulfilling ways of being in the world. Then with repro the basic drive for reproduction, for sexuality, that's just the bottom level. On top of that, you build meaningful relationships, then loving relationships, then love, you know. This, these, this is just all built from the ground up. So the main message of this video is do not be at war with yourself. Find a way to get in touch with your basic drives and accept them and then you can uh, move them through your body into the world and do things, create things, make things happen. That is your vital energy. The part, you, uh, uh, everything is built on that um, from, from the ground up. And all our, and if you can't get the basics right, then how are you going to do any complicated shit like saving the world or writing a symphony or a novel or, or creating an organization? How are you going to do that if you can't take care of your most basic needs? If you think this is a useful video, please pump that share button, put it on your wall. It's going to get, uh, people are going to like it because it's got a funny title, a very funny title. And, um, uh, yeah, um, Life is not all about work and sex and money, but um, it's only once you've got a good relationship to work and sex and money that you can have a, 
a, a fulfilling life in other areas because you don't need to worry about about survival or reproduction. Pump that share button if you want me to make more videos. Thank you and have a great weekend.